I am LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk. Today is Tuesday. It's January the 4th, 2022. I hope you are having a great new year. This four, we only four days in. But I truly believe that 2022 is going to be a good year. I believe it's going to be a blessed and, and an adventurous and a prosperous year year especially compared uh, what we've had the past two years from 2020 with the pandemic currently still in it um i just believe this is going to be a good year i'm claiming a good year for myself and some things i'm believing god for so i want to do our conversation today and i hope you are enjoying i am lamarcia lewis uh, let's talk youtube channel if you are please subscribe i always say I will welcome any positive feedback in the comment section. Uh, please share on your various social media platforms, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all of that, because I can only grow this channel and I can only truly be success successful with your support. And please know your support is greatly, greatly appreciated. So let's get started. We're going to talk about Tristan Thompson. He has been trending basically been dr being dragged on social media especially like twitter and just out there on the internet christian thompson is a former nba basketball player i, I kind of looked up and got some information i did not realize he is the oldest of uh, four he, he's the oldest of four sons i didn't realize he was from jamaica i guess just goes to show i really didn't have a or had not taken an interest or to him I just know him for being the father of Chloe's Chloe's daughter, True Thompson, and I, you know, hearing things uh, about him and Chloe, and and him just kind of being like many men, because he's not the only one just out there. And again, we're gonna talk about how how, how he's getting dragged on social media for again him being very loose. I guess we could use that term, uh, loose. And his actions are obviously still sleeping around because uh, supposedly he and Chloe had gotten back together. So, uh, I think it was said when I was reading back um, around the summer of 2020 when the pandemic hit uh, and when everybody was, you know, had been isolated, you know, to be uh, inside. We weren't supposed to be out and about when, it, it, when our world, our country had just uh, shut down because again when we uh, the pandemic hit in 2020 supposedly they broke up I think last year it's it's so much um, he's been in the trending subject of topic because he sp now supposedly has another child and from my research that I have done this would be baby three uh, his first child was with a lady that he was dating supposedly um in the time between him and chloe getting together uh he was dating a lady his first child was born in december of 2016 and it was a boy uh the mother's name is jordan craig so he has a son and i read where he's ordered to pay forty thousand dollars a month in child support that's a lot of money y'all forty thousand dollar for one child like wow uh also uh later in april of 2018 is when he gave when he became a father the second time when chloe kardashian gave birth to her first child and his second child and this was a daughter true thompson as we know he has a daughter with chloe and also when chloe was pregnant carrying um their child he had been unfaithful to her there was infidelity he had cheated on her and not long ago a few years back it was an incident that took place uh with um jordan woods who was uh, like bfs with Kylie, uh chloe's sister Kylie. something happened where jordan and trisha was at the same place and supposedly and allegedly according from what jordan shared and what we've learned about that uh Tristan supposedly kissed her and from what Jordan say basically she was like in I guess such shock and and was caught off guard she just immediately left and I don't like how things were done to her because supposedly if she and Kylie was really such true BFF true 
genuine friends, they should have been able to have a conversation. And Kylie should have been able to believe her. And I know she was very welcome to uh, within the uh, Kardashian family before all of this took place. I mean, I'm referring to Jordan Woods. And, and, and again, Chloe knew what she was getting into. I'm going to play a clip from the ladies of the view today of Joy, Sonny, uh, Robert uh, Simpson, and um, Anna was talking about Christian, because uh, again, he, he's, he's the trending topic. Um, and also, here recently, he now is, he, it's been confirmed, because it says paternity results does confirm that the child of a lady by the name of Marlene Nichols, his third baby mama, uh, that is his child, and that also is is a, is a boy. So he now has two sons and a daughter. And let me read. <laughs> I'm gonna read some things from Twitter, and this is supposedly. It says Christian Thompson says his return to test proves he he's the father and publicly apologizes to Chloe. It says. And this is what he put up in his Instagram IG story. Today's paternity test results reveal that I father a child with Marlene Nichols. I take full responsibility for my actions. Now that paternity has been established, I look forward to amply raising my son. I sincerely apologize to everyone I've hurt or disappointed throughout this ordeal, both publicly and privately he goes on continuing his ig story chloe you don't deserve this you don't deserve the heartache and humiliation i have caused you you don't deserve the way i have treated you over the years my actions certainly have not lined up with the way i view you i have the utmost respect and love for you Regardless of what you may think, again, I am so incredibly sorry. And again, this is from Christian Thompson in his IG story. Him acknowledging that he is the father of the child that he had already been alleged to be by the third, again, baby mama. You know, this is just in my opinion. Because I think as a woman, many of us have... Had where men do a lot of dirty things. This isn't the first time. This isn't the first rodeo. And most likely probably would not be the last rodeo with Christian Thompson. Chloe knows who Christian, is, Christian Thompson is. I mean the man cheated on her while she was carrying their child. And as Sonny Hobson pointed out today again when the ladies of the view were discussing it. Uh, she said her uh, grandmother told her you know that old saying you lose them the same way you get them because supposedly and allegedly he was already in a relationship when he started getting involved and then getting into a relationship and not only a relationship uh chloe became pregnant with his child so and then like i said he cheated on her during the pregnancy so i mean she knows what she has as many other people have pointed out it's, it's just kind of crazy how these kardashian women they just don't seem to get good replica men and they just i mean it's crazy it's it's really crazy and let me read this tweet someone had retweeted it's crazy how a young black woman was forced to tearfully apologize to chloe kardashian after being dragged for filth over a kiss when scumbag christian thompson was the problem all along and i got to agree with that because again chloe knows as many of us out here in the world knows who who christian thompson is he like i said he's no different for a lot of other men and he is getting red for filth in regards to i mean and he's deserving says chloe kardashian can you please stop cheating on me and just love love our daughter that's what they're saying chloe is saying to to christian and the young lady uh, that T was referring to was, uh, again, Jordan Woods because of the incident that took, back, took place. And my thing is, he, he supposedly, this supposedly is an apology. Hey, 
if that's what you want to call it but he knows what he's doing and he and he if he truly had respect for chloe if he truly loved chloe and let's just say if he had respect for her as again a, the mother of his child or one of his kids the things he's doing i mean you knowing if you in a relationship with her you and her really have a relationship where it's just supposed to be you and her and your daughter true and y'all trying to really have a relationship why are you out here sleeping with other people who's making you do that no one other than you being a grown man by choice make the decision to lie down and have sex and obviously have sex without any type of protection and knowing that you've already gotten two kids we all know how kids come about having sex unprotected sex can lead to possibility of children so he knows what he's doing here's uh someone a tweet says with how easily this new covid bear is jumping from person to person this definitely is an armor this is christian thompson it's, and that's basically just saying he's from woman to woman sleeping with many women multiple women and end up making kids and someone said christian apologized in a movie in credit format because that's basically is how it looks about his um his apologies like it was in a movie created but chloe you know it's time for her at the end of the day she's a grown woman too she she knows what's going on with this man he's not gonna change i mean he is who he is he's not new to this she's got to make a decision is this what she want to continually wants to continue to do or have i mean because she has a daughter does she not realize what she's and again, like the saying, like the saying go, you have to be careful of the things you do because she's no better. She's she's no better because she got him the way she got him. So I want to listen to this. Um, again, the ladies of the View talked about it. So let's listen to this. Up with the Kardashians, but this week uh, we found out that NBA star. And Khloe Kardashian's ex-boyfriend, Tristan Thompson, was sued for child support by a woman who claimed he got her pregnant. And after initially denying it, duh, he just confirmed that he is the baby daddy. He also apologized for the pain he caused Khloe, who is the mother of another one of his children. See, it's hard to keep up with them. Really hard. Um, Yvette, what do you make of this? <laughs> If you guys came to me, I can't hear you, but I know we're on Tristan and I've got a lot to say. <laughs> First, what I want to say okay. is that I feel like, I feel sorry for Chloe. I feel like she has made some difficult decisions in the men that she's chosen to love. That's not her fault. We love who we love. Um, I feel bad for Jordan, the little girl that got in trouble when Tristan did what he did with her. I think the common denominator in all of these hmm. situations is Tristan. And the last thing that I want to say, and this might get me in trouble, but I'm okay with a little trouble. I feel like we got to throw a little shade at the people sleeping with the men that are in the relationships. I feel like if you want to have love in your life, you shouldn't step into anybody else's love situation. Let them do what they're going to do. Everybody knew Chloe was with Tristan. Whatever you thought about Tristan, let her try to find her love. That's what I feel about it. And again, I can't hear y'all, but that's what I had to say. Okay. So, Sonny. Sonny, let me ask you this. Uh, do you think that Chloe should sue him? And then have Kim be her lawyer. Isn't Kim training to be a lawyer? You're making it a whole new reality show. No, I don't believe that. But um, I'll tell you what I do believe is uh, to, you know, Yvette's last point. She said people shouldn't be sleeping with other people's men when they're trying to find love. Let's remember that when Chloe. Uh, first sort of, you know, got entangled with Tristan Tom uh, Thompson, he had, um, he was with someone. Her name was Jordan Craig, and she was pregnant. Um, and, and, and so I tend to think what my grandmother always taught me was that you lose them how you caught them. And she, he was in a relationship with another woman, and he messed around with Chloe. Chloe was in a relationship with him, and he messed around with another woman. And it's going to go on and on and on, because he obviously doesn't have the maturity. He doesn't have the same... Um, beliefs in, in loyalty as, as uh, you know, 
Chloe does, and I do feel terrible for her because she she does seem to be making poor choices um, when it, 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 it comes to men. And let's face it, I think we've all been there. I've been there. But this kind of um, repeat performance with, with men that cheat on you, um, that you have to start looking inward at that point. Yeah. Okay. Um, Anna, have you been keeping up with the Kardashians? <laughs> <laughs> Joy, I, I literally have a hard time keep, uh, keep telling the Kardashian sisters apart, much less keeping up with the men that they're in, you know, with uh, at some point or were with or are going to be with or God knows what. Listen, it's, it, to me, it's like a... It's like an Armenian telenovela playing out in our tabloids and our, our TV. Um, you know, but, I, but I, I look at the Kardashians, and this seems to be a pattern of behavior. And frankly, they are so smart about their brand and their business. These women have turned assets into assets. And yet, they keep, you know, they're beautiful, they're rich, they're famous, they have wonderful friends, they've got a very close-knit family. Why do they keep going with these losers who are cheating on them all the time. And to this Tristan guy, I just have one word to say. Condom. Condom. I mean, for the love of God, dude, yeah. how many times is this going to happen to you? Or vasectomy. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. All good. All good. You know, to that point, to that point, Anna, these are psychological issues. I don't think the Kardashians are keeping up with the therapy. Is That's the problem. I agree with Joy. It is psychological. All the ladies made great points. Cause like Sunny said, you know, you got if you if you got him by when he was in another relationship, when he was cheating with someone, and then you went on and you knew that he was in a relationship, but yet and still you got entangled, and then you got involved and you made a child with. I mean, you lose him the same way you got him. And, and to a certain degree, you can have some empathy, I guess, a little bit for Chloe, especially as a woman, because I am a woman. Like Sunny said, you know, I too, we all have made mistakes, I think, with men. Not everybody has always had a perfect relationship whenever they got involved with someone. So I can relate. But at, again, at some point in time, accountability is due from all parties. Accountability is due from me, the woman, on what I'm going to allow myself to be in to endure especially and like i say she has a child she has a daughter so she's letting her daughter see that it's okay to for a, her mom to be involved with her father who's a cheater making multiple uh siblings and then at the same time you know he want to come with well i'm sorry you know i love you uh utmost respect and all of this bull crap really all this bs dude no, because if you cared and if you were sorry, you would have it would have ended when she was pregnant with your child, and it wouldn't have been any other children made by infidelity. So no, what you're sorry for once again, you have gotten caught with your pants down. And then again, like these ladies say, why not just as Anna said, wear a condom. Sonny said, get a, a vasectomy. I mean, there's use protection. But this really needs to stop because it's just telling who all parties are. Who Christian Thompson is. And Chloe, if you're going to continue to allow this man to continue to make you look stupid. Make you look dumb. You know, and, and I, and, you know, like, going back to what Anna also mentioned about, you know, the ladies are so smart. Yes, they're business people, but come on now. Kim got famous for a sex tape. A sex tape with Ray J, right? Look, and as some pointed out, uh, look uh, what Lamar Odom, he began to, and I don't know if he was doing drugs prior to his relationship with Chloe, but still, we know, you know, he's had, had a drug problem. Look at uh Kylie. She's with Travis, and he's always seemingly to be high. You know, she, she said on on when she was on Ellen one time, he always smelled like smelled like um weed, and they all plastic. Yeah, they rich from basically just getting out there selling themselves. Like I say, sex tapes, dre dressing so uh, provocative to people really half dressing 
and this is what has made them famous. So it's something that is missing. It's clear on all levels. And yes, I can say, like uh, Joy mentioned, you know, there are some psychological issues. And I would say for both, for, for the Kardashians, all of them, and Christian Thompson, no one is exempt here. Everybody plays a role. And the Kardashians are not all that. Yeah, they may be beautiful, but hey, they paying for it. Placid as I don't know what. Chloe's butt, Kim's butt, Cloud, uh, Callie's butt, uh, Kendall's, I think she's had some plastic surgery as well as Courtney. I mean, all of them, nothing is real. I'm just waiting till the children get old, older before they start having plastic surgery. I mean, because this is what this family does. Chris, the mom, you know, come on. But, you know, hey, if you like it, Chloe, if that's at the end of the day, it's your decision on what you do in your life and what you're willing to accept. But every person, especially as a woman and as a mother, a mother of a daughter, and even if you just say if you'd have had a son, you need to know your worth. You need to know your worth for the person when you look in the mirror. Who is that person? Yourself. When you look at your daughter, know your worth. Know what I'm worth and I wouldn't want this for my daughter. Because as long as you allow him to keep coming back, giving these fake, not about nothing, supposedly apology, but yet going on, continuing to do the same thing again and again and once more allow you to have to go through this publicly this publicly embarrassment as well as I can't even imagine how horrible it is privately because again you are a human being everybody has feelings everybody has emotion but again you got to know your worth and you got to know when to say hey I'm worth more my daughter is worth more I deserve better. If I have to be by myself, then continuing this type of relationship, that's not healthy for anyone. It's not. So, I can give you a little bit, but then how y'all did Jordan Woods, I'm grateful, she, hey, she seemed to be on living her best life now. And Chloe, you still trying to find your best life. It's not worth it. But at the end of the day, hey, if you want to keep up with the Kardashians, if you want want to do whatever, you do you. You got to live with it. But I don't think he was sincere in that supposedly apology. He just got caught with his pants down once again. I'm LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk.